All right, hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video tonight. I'm comparing all five of these waters. This is a round two water comparison video. Um, so all five of these waters beat out another water in round one of the comparison video series chart thing. So tonight I'm gonna compare all five of these and decide which one tastes the best in my personal opinion. And the winner's gonna move on to round three. So what do we got? We got, uh, I, I, I didn't really prepare for this video at all. I didn't take any notes. I have nothing on the screen. No, no um, no research went into this video so if you want more information about these waters watch the first reviews i did for all of these okay this is just like a taste test tonight that's all i'm doing nothing prepared um talking rain <clears throat> all right this is from portland oregon this is from the new seasons market this is a sparkling water and uh it's zero calories zero carbs zero everything next up is earth 2.0 what do we got here? We got 100% natural spring water. This is a one liter bottle. It's like a fancy bottle with a, I think in the first review I said this looks like a, something you would see in like a 1960s office bar. Cause it like, it's like a fancy bottle, like, like an alcohol bottle kind of, like, like from the show Mad Men. Um, like you would see like a glass with this kind of pattern on it. Next up we got, uh, Simpson spring water This is from salaciousdrinks.com and this is natural spring water it Has nothing to do with the show the Simpsons. It's just the name of spring. I think it says it's uh, The spring dates back to 6,000 BC when the Winnipeg Indian tribe um, Discovered it or something. All right next up we got uh, H2O from Menchie's. This is uh, from a frozen yogurt place. Menchie's frozen yogurt. This is their custom branded water. And it's from a local... I'm in Pittsburgh. It's from a local... Actually, it's a chain. Menchie's is a chain, but I bought this from their local yogurt place, even though it's a national or chain or maybe international. I don't know. Anyway, next up is glacier rain water this is artisan water this is glacier rain natural artisan water tastes so crisp and clear you'll feel like you're drinking it straight from the source and this is from utah this is from the convenience store maverick and it's from salt lake city utah so i got this on my trip I was in Utah. So these, these two are from Portland. This is from Utah. And these two, or this is from online, this is from Pittsburgh. So it's kind of like a wide variety of sources. Okay, I have nothing else to say about them. Let's uh, just do a taste test. This one is the same bottle from round one. Cause I, I just assume this is not gonna win. I, I'm, I mean, I'm like 100% sure it's not gonna win to be honest. Because I don't like sparkling waters, and this is a sparkling carbonated water. Yeah, it's um, I'm gonna give it a fair shot, but I didn't even bother buying a second bottle of this because I don't think it's gonna win. Here's the Earth 2O. Oh, it's uh like Menchie's. They both have the 2O in their name. Um, okay. Earth. Oh, and these two are similar because they're both like. Shaded, uh, you know, dark, dark blue, I think. All right, it's a nice, uh, all three of these have the, oh, all four of these have the big lids. And this one's, uh, not full size, but still pretty big. Seems pretty good, a little, a little plasticky taste. Not bad. Here's the Simpson water. A little bit of a kind of plasticky taste too. The Menchie water. Sometimes I forget that I'm like doing a video and people are watching this, and I, I forget that I need to like describe the taste to you guys. Um, I'm not the only person in the world. You can't taste my taste. There's, taste doesn't transfer through you too much to describe it. 
this has a much less of a plasticky taste than these two. Here's Glacier Rain. From Maverick Grocery Store. Okay. <laughs> I think I already have a winner. <laughs> I think this is the biggest loser. This is my least favorite. And I think out of these five, I think this is the best tasting one. These three just have like a plasticky taste to them, which is kind of, I don't know, kind of weird. I think this, I think out of these four, I think this is like the cheapest. And I think this is just for municipal water, I think. Let me see. Yeah, it's from MD Municipal Water Supply. It's purified with reverse osmosis. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, these three kind of have a chemically, like a slight, chem no, it's not horrible, it's not horrible, it's not the worst thing in the world. If I'm thirsty, it's perfectly fine to drink it. It's perfectly fine, but this has less of the plasticky chemically taste than these three do. Yep. And it's not even that slight. Like, it's kind of, um, like, this is, like, the clear winner. Normally, I go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and go, you know, break them down one at a time, but um, I'm already, I'm just going to call it now. This is the winner. Congratulations, H2O Water. I don't, I don't really remember, like, normally before I do the round two videos, <clears throat> I go back and rewatch the um, round one videos to listen to what I said about the waters in round one, and um, I didn't do that today. Um, just didn't feel like it. So I don't remember what I said about these other waters, because some of the reviews were from several months ago. <clears throat> I don't know if I said they were plasticky back then in the, in the other reviews, but <clears throat> they are today. So I guess I'll just uh, drink some more of them. Uh, <clears throat> I want it to be an official episode. I want it to be an official <clears throat> John Drinks Water, so I have to drink a significant amount. You know, I started with this. I wonder if the sparkling carbonation kind of clears up, you know, clears up the, the taste buds on your tongue. I wonder if that makes it more noticeable. Because normally the plasticky and non-plasticky taste isn't that obvious. But I wonder if, like, the bubbles, like, scrub my tongue. And it, it's, I wonder if that's making it just more obvious of the plasticky taste. Okay. This is kind of surprising that this is the winner. Because, like, I don't know. This is, like, really good branding. If it's from a glacier, it seems high-end, seems expensive. This one has such a nice bottle, and, like, it's good branding also, Earth 2.0. So, you know, it seems good. <clears throat> this is from, like, you know, a fancy water website. So you would think this would be really good. So kind of kind of weird that this from a frozen yogurt place is the best tasting. I think I'm just going to finish this up, call it a day. Yep, that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone.
congratulations, Menchies, H2O. Next round. 